Ladies and gents, in the comments, I've been asked by a couple of times to do a couple of player profiles. So let's just get into it. Roll the intro. Marcus Leonardo is a striker slash AML for, I believe San is Santos, if I'm not mistaken, in the Brazilian league. He looks pretty good for a 19 year old. Uh, definitely room to grow. We're gonna forget the technicals right now. The technicals are okay. Finishing a 15 is fantastic. Uh, but we all know with this bug in FM, they're not going to grow in the next 10 years or thereabouts. So we'll concentrate mainly on the mentals and physicals. He has no history whatsoever. Um, he has career stats. He's got a great season already under 2022 with 24 appearances, 11 goals, 714 average rating. Milestones are completely blank. So in the next 10 years, we're going to see how much this can fill. Well, 10 years in, it is the end of the season, 2033. And as you can see, his technicals actually did grow a smidge. Uh, his finishing is now 16, so even more fantastic. Heading and first touch of 14s, pretty good. And you can see mentals and physicals, though, through the roof. A bunch of greens off the ball. Leadership of 16 is fantastic. Composure of 19, anticipation of 16, agility and balance of 16, and stamina of 17. So this guy can go all game, which is really nice to see a lot of the times. He is at Manchester United. He is 30 years old and doing very well. Uh, 52 to 155 million. Only 160k per week, though. So not really sure. Uh, somewhere down the line, his agent must have said, you know what, I don't care about the money much. But only six appearances, 19 off the bench, four goals, six, seven, eight average rating for the Premier League. Uh, not that great. And it looks like they're not in, they, he either didn't play or he they are not in the Champions League or Europa League or anything like that. So if we take a look at his career stats, you can see he went from Santos in 27 for 15 and a half million to Porto. Did fairly well, didn't play as a starter much there, but then another year in Porto, a lot more games, a lot more goals, doing a little better. Uh, then moved for 42 million to Manchester United in 28-29 and has been there ever since. It seems like he's getting some games. I mean, 26-25 is not the amount of games you'd expect for someone who's a regular starter. 35, yes. 30 is a little low. But his average rating, well, he went from Porto to Manchester United, 677, 683, brought it up to a 613, uh, and then this season just brought it down again. I wonder what his injury uh, history is. We'll take a look at that in a minute. But milestones, he has filled it up nicely. As you can see, he's got a bunch of seasonal best 11s. Pan American Games winner in 2023 under Brazil, 20, uh, the under 22s. Uh, and then state championship, top goal scorer, third place. First division top goal, goal scorer, third place. Player of the year for the first division. State championship top goal scorer, third place yet again. Third, I mean, he's getting a lot of third places here. Uh, but a ton of seasonal best 11. Sud Amer Copa Sud America, golden boot. Uh, best player, third place. Wow, he is just forever in third place, isn't he? But Brazilian golden boot for 25. Seasonal best 11. Top goal scorer in the first division, 26. Bought by Porto, named in the Porto's seasonal best 11. The Tasha de Liga winners, so uh, under-21 Premier Division Cup winners in Manchester United when he moved there, he was under-21s. That was four years ago, five years ago, so he was 25, 26, thereabouts. He was inducted into the Porto overall best 11, so he did a fantastic job for Porto, hence the $42 million move, or £42 million pound move to Manchester United. First international cap at age 27 against Algeria. That's a long time to wait for someone who lit up I mean, for the most part, the Brazilian leagues, uh, but seasonal best 11, seasonal best 11, overall best 11, third place. There you go. Golden boot runner up in the Europa Conference League. Um, and that was 31. So two years ago, they have not been making it. Actually, where are Manchester United and what's their history? Wow. This season, they found themselves in 15th place. That is, that is tough. That is definitely tough. Um, someone was fired for that. But if we jump into the histories, sadly, I mean, not sadly enough, but weirdly enough, nothing major. Seven days is the, well, actually, no, two weeks is the worst. Moderate pectoral strain lifting weights. Uh, but then two seven days with a virus and flu. And then, and that was years ago. And then really a couple of days here and there. Two days for a bruised ankle, two days for a bruised shin. Nothing, I mean, not even uh, missing matches too much. So injury-wise... I'm not sure. It could really be 
I'm wondering if because of this technical bug that FM has where the technical stats just don't grow all that well, that they're not playing that much because of that. And so I'm wondering if, you know, Porto and Manchester United see that mentals and physicals are growing very well. Technicals just aren't great. So, I mean, finishing of 16, still, you would expect more than just a, a handful of goals. Um, and he would definitely slot into some of my teams that I played in the past. Maybe not my AC Milan team, but I don't know. It's kind of interesting. He, he just doesn't seem to be getting the game time that he should be. And that's the only thing I can really attribute it to without the lack of injuries. It says he's a regular starter, though. I don't see that. So, uh, let's you know what? Let's give it another couple of years and see what happens with his career. Well, 2035, it is the end of the season here. His technicals are starting to dip, uh, and some of his other numbers are as well. And as you can see, he is definitely not a regular starter anymore. He's two starts, 20 off the bench, two goals, three assists, 698 average rating. I don't know what's happening with this kid. Uh, Injury-wise, he got another tight calf for two days, bruised foot for three days, twisted knee and pulled groin out for six days apiece. I wouldn't say he's all that injury prone. I mean, very minor injuries in the last couple of years. So overall, not bad. He's just not getting games. And it's it's interesting to see. I mean, he's gone down from 35, 30, 25, 23, 22. Uh, his average rating, I mean, besides these past two years, 2032 to 2034, not great average ratings, but 698 is not too bad. I mean, it's the only, it's really the only thing I can attribute it to is that technical stat piece. If you could think of something else, please, I am not an analytical mind. I cannot take a look at these numbers and think, oh, that's exactly what I'm, you know, is what's going on in this game. So let me know what you think, what your thoughts are. This is my only thought is that the technical side is just keeping him out of these squads because this makes no sense. Two starts. He is, what is he now? 32 years old. Should have realized that. Uh, so maybe his, his age has got to get up there. He's kind of becoming the Zlatan or the Jeru, where some numbers are still great, others not so much, uh, and they just need something different. And if we look, you can see in two years it has made a difference. They are in second place uh, instead of, well, I mean, the 15th, was it the 15th that they were in? So they've got Champions League back. Uh, they're doing much better. However, overall... Marcos Leonardo, he looks like he's a fantastic player. If you pick him up and you play with him and you use him regularly, he looks like he's going to grow into a fantastic player. It's just in this save, as we've seen, I might just need to start the save over uh, because it's just not working for a lot of a lot of players. But uh, here you go. You can see in his biography, he lifted the Europa Conference League in 2031 and the Premier League in 2031. Four winner's medals to his name. Uh, the Tasha de Liga in, for Porto, the Conference League that we just talked about, the Pan American Games with Brazil's under-22s in 23, and the Premier League in 31. So not a lot of trophies, uh, more than some, but and some good ones with the Premier League. Uh, the Conference League, yeah, great. It's the third one down. but uh, So he's, he's doing well. He will probably do a hell of a lot better if you pick him up on your save. Uh, and he doesn't seem to be that expensive. So if you could pick him up anywhere, I don't know what he's going to be like. I mean, 52 matches, uh, 25 goals is a fantastic return. And 15 and a half million, I don't know if he was at the end of his contract or thereabouts, but I, I would hope that you can pick him up somewhat cheap. Uh, and yeah, let us know how you do with him because he looks like a real winner minus the safe. Oh, anyway, that is it for me, Seven FM for the Football Manager blog channel saying thank you so much for watching. Take care and enjoy.